What's up everybody, CHM Carnivores here. I thought I would do the third and final um, tour uh, for May, covering all the different plants. It's gonna be a longer video, but let's go ahead and get cracked into it so that we don't waste any time. All right, um, so this one right here is the Titan's Tower. This is Truncata Giant by Truncata, actually Truncata Titan, a Truncata Giant. This is part of that group that I got uh, from Predatory Plants that unfortunately didn't do so hot, but I was able to revive this one, bring it back, and believe it or not, this is phenomenal compared to the way it looked. So awesome on that. This plant here is probably the slowest growing plant I have ever had. I've had this thing, believe it or not, for a year and a half, and it barely has put on any sizes, but it is Renoir Tiana by Rob Cantley High. It will get enormous at some point when it decides to grow. This one I'm extremely excited about. This is Spatulata by Spectabilis by Cobra Vici. So I'm very excited to see what this does. Um, it has been growing very nicely. You can already see the stripes on it, even at a very small size. Cobra is known for having lots and lots of stripes. And it has that squat pitcher. These I just did a video on. There's a, a sibling uh, that I'll show in a minute. But this is that uh, VGI Lar or VGI Giant by Sumatrana by Platykyla. And you can already see this one. It's got that gorgeous squat Sumatrana uh, pitcher with those VGI leaves. Its sibling looks totally different. So I will show that shortly. This one right here I've had for a while and it has struggled quite a bit. It's starting to make a comeback, but this is the uh, Maxima wavy leaf. One of the few that gets these really wavy purple leaves with this all green peristome, beautiful plant. Um, this has struggled since the day I got it, but it is legged along and we're gonna continue to just see what we can do. This is Truncata by um, Ventricosa Denver. And so, doesn't have any really good pictures on it yet, but um, it is growing and uh, doing okay. This one is one I think everybody should own. This is Sanguinea. Uh, very, very easy grower. Very paper thin, very soft pictures, but they will get very big. Um, and it's this one came from California Carnivores, and it's got multiple plants in there. So that's exciting to watch it grow. Over here is Renoir Tiana. Uh, this one is known for those eyeballs that it gets in the back of the pitcher. No one really knows why that's there, uh, but it's cool. And it's definitely not, it's one of the uh, sort of weedier types of Nepenthes. This one has grown uh, very fast for um, just a short amount of time that I had it, which is pretty common for Rintor Tiana, but I'm excited. This one was a free one from Predatory Plants. It is a bunch of different uh, complex. Honestly, I don't even remember what all is in it, uh, but obviously it's got plenty of Vichia in it. You can see with those leaves, that very thin, tall pitcher, and that sort of, uh, how it just sort of scrambles across the ground. This is a cooler one. Um, this is uh, Truncata Giant JB by Truncata Giant. And so I've got a much larger version over that you've seen in past videos. Um, so this one is growing along just fine. This one I think I ended up touching with uh, in the last video, but we'll do it again. This is Truncata, um, or excuse me, Nepenthes Sibiwensis Patches by Truncata Giant, and it has grown very well. Uh, now that I've got the, uh, the humidity adjusted, it is coming into its own very nicely. This is that sibling um, Vici Giant by Sumatrana by Platykyla, and as I made in the last video, you can see, even though they are siblings, they are completely different plants. So that's interesting uh, to see. And it'll be interesting to keep an eye on what that looks like. This is that Pulcra hybrid. It's a complex hybrid, but it gets that really just beautiful, beautiful pictures. That will be all purple by the time it's done. Pulcra just gets, it's just gorgeous in general. Uh, everything from its mid-rib on its leaves down to its pictures. They're just beautiful hybrids. Growing nicely, I will definitely want to watch and keep an eye on. Uh, this is Truncata Giant. This is a JB by Pacian Red. And so I've got another bigger one of those as well that I will be um, 
I've highlighted before and I can do it again. It got thrip damage a while back, as you can see here. Uh, I've treated it and it has made a few full recovery and then some growing very nicely. And those pictures are starting to get that. I cannot focus. There it is. Get the inside of those pictures. It's gonna be lovely. It'll have some uh, red uh, tones to those pictures. This is another Truncata JB by Truncata Giant. This one is available on Carniv Carnivoro, much smaller size, of course. Uh, but I think it's like 40 bucks right now. It's on sale. So be awesome uh, version to have. But just look how big that leaf jump is, huh? That's fantastic. Doing very well. Loving these warmer, humid conditions. This thing has hated me since the day I got it, which is funny because it's a really easy grower. But I'm about to just, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm limping it along, but it is all but dead. Uh, this is uh, Spectabulous Giant by Truncata Giant, and it has suffered since the day I got it, so that's unfortunate. This one I've highlighted quite a bit. Um, this is the Truncata Giant by Bioc, and it gets very about the same size as the Truncata, a little bit smaller, um, but it just keeps that really flared sort of scallop peristone, almost like you would see a Sibinensis. Love this plant. Love it, love it, love it. It is growing just fine. This is an enormous plant. Uh, Ventricosa by Sibiolensis by Rob Cantley I. Uh, it was doing very poorly. Remember, this is the one that had that that uh, um, fungus, white fungus, and I treated it, and it has since done well. I just gave it a new uh, a hard repot, and if you'll see in there, I had a little surprise. It's got a uh, basil growing on it. Super excited about that. Over here... Um, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say who the seller was, but I bought several plants from a particular seller, and most of the ones that you see that I have a problem with are from that seller. Um, I've had them for a while. I bought them all in the same sort of grouping, and they just have not been healthy since today. And I've, needless to say, I've not bought from that seller since. Uh, other people might have great success with them. I have not. Uh, so I'm keeping them alive. I'm hoping one day they will turn the corner but uh, they have not done well. Same grouping from that seller. This is Rob Cantleyi by Glandrolifera. Um, it puts out really crazy, hairy pictures, um, bright red peristome. I'm surprised this thing has not basil yet, um, but uh, it's doing okay. Like it's making a comeback, but it's just got this really weird sprawling pattern to it, which I'm totally fine with. We'll just follow along and see how it goes. This beauty is Nepenthes Truncata Giant by Mira. The funny thing about this one is it just grows completely upright. Like nothing is making it stay upright like that. It just, it is completely grown upright without any stakes or anything. Um, it's done very well in this new setting. And um, I will continue to see the old setting. The leaves are small and it's got some, that's some freezer damage from our freeze burn from a while back. But uh, the new leaves have been absolutely fantastic. It is doing just fine. That came from Carnivero a little while back. Um, yep. And so that's the rest of the wire wall. And now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to what I have hanging. This is Truncata Giant, also known as the Hiroshima clone. It's due for a repot. Its newest leaf looks gorgeous. Not the fastest growing Truncata. But it is known for putting out these big, beautiful trunca truncata pictures with stripes. Um, once I give this thing a repot, it will do very well. It has been in that same um, soil mix for a very long time. This is that Platykyla by Spectabilis. I am purposely put it up hanging like this. It does stay drier, which I don't like, but um, I wanted it to grow down so it would basil. And sure enough, it did. And it is coming in very nice uh, with that basil. You can already see the pictures are starting to color up and look beautiful. Same thing with this one. This is the Distant Flora by Rob Cantley. Beautiful pictures on it. Um, and um, I wanted to hang it down and so it would grow a basil and sure enough it has. We'll continue to follow that one. In the back there, I've just got a, um, um, oh gosh, Brigziana. Uh, it produces out really cool pictures. Right now, I don't think it has any that are looking too great on it, but it just sort of grows in the back and it does its thing. I've got um, Rebecca Soper. It's absolutely taking over um, with its vines. It's got two vines. I'm surprised it hasn't flowered yet. I'm sure it will 
soon. And then underneath that is a Graciana. Last but not least is a problem child that, boy, this is a tough one. I actually had somebody ask a comment about a plant, one of these plants. This is Ventricosa by Meruliana. Uh, it produces absolutely enormous pitchers when healthy. The issue that I have with it, it is very, very, very susceptible to humidity changes. And so it does not like humidity changes whatsoever. Um, it pitches a lot more, as you can see, than like a uh, purebred uh, um, species like a Sibionensis. Uh, but man, it's just, it has never been happy for me. I've been growing it for a very long time. Um, and um, it just, uh, yeah. I wanted to get a Ventricosa, a Ventricosa by Sibionensis by Merliana, which it gets probably the biggest pictures in the genus. but. You know, I'm just too nervous about, um, you know, these these pictures will get, um, Oregon Water Gardens has one that will um, just get I mean, pictures that are, you know, you fit a gallon of water in. This is a Ventricosa uh, by um, Denver, or no, excuse me, Ventricosa by, Ventricosa Denver by Ventricosa Black Peristome. It needs a repot. This, this just stays way too dry for it. Uh, it's doing okay. Nothing, nothing to really write home about. Um, these up here, I'm having a hard time keeping humidity levels. I've got a lot of fans going, which dries them out quickly. Um, so I'm gonna be working on that, finding, I'm gonna be getting a misting system later uh, this month to sort of help that out. So that was extremely quick, uh, even though we're at 11 minutes. Uh, that ends part three in the tour of the Nepenthes. I hope you enjoyed this video as all the others. Please spread the word. Uh, let other people know about these wonderful plants. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye-bye.